Welcome to the Fantasy Thinker. I'm Jared Kodamich, and today I'm going to be doing review of, non-spoiler review of, Janie Wirtz's Fugitive Prince. This is the fourth book in the Wars of Light and Shadow, the beginning of a new arc called uh, The Alliance of Light. <laughs> and so, Wars of Light and Shadow, Alliance of Light, so that's, you kind of get where the focus is there. And I'm just going to talk some non-spoiler thoughts about this uh, really quick here. And so, with this fourth book, you know, in the Wars of Light and Shadow, it, you know, for recording a video purposes, it kind of puts me in a bind. You know, you've already heard my thoughts on the first three books and how outstanding the story is so far and how wonderful the prose is. Uh, so how can I talk about this fourth book without giving anything away? Uh, so I'll, I'll give it a shot. Uh, what this book does is it solidifies the epic scope of the whole narrative uh this book right here um so far the series has been uh, particularly focused on two opposing characters you know arathon master of shadow and train sorcerer and lysaia master of light and pillar of a noble lineage <laughs> um we've already seen how Wurtz plays with expectations and redefines what symbols of good and evil are or you know what um good and bad represents and how all of that's kind of a, you know a good mix we've we've uh we've already seen how there is something slightly off in the focus on this world of athera all that was defined and hinted at at the in in the beginning of the series um all this stuff you know and what fugitive prince does it is it takes all these concepts pours them into a mixing bowl and launches us into a new vista of epic tale where we have no idea what to expect i, I kind of feel like this book is the beginning of my eyes being opened onto what this story is actually about this book it, it kind of slows down the pace a bit from the last two. The last two were just fast-paced, action-oriented um, st stuff that really blew us away. And this this one kind of it reconfigures the playing field and, and shows us there is a lot more going on in the world than meets the eye. The world is becoming so fully realized that we can um, sense events happening in concurrence with what we're reading. Uh, so, you know, and Wurtz uses the arts of like prophecy and scrying as a tool to give us a sense of continuance without ever resorting to flashbacks or somebody saying, I remember this event, you know, and starts telling you, you know, that story. She doesn't re re resort to that kind of stuff. The, uh, the, the, the story is continuing and continuing and continuing. And, um, so it, some of the themes um so, i mean so that makes it kind of unique i think and so in uh in some terms of uh some uh annals of epic literature epic fantasy and uh so some of the themes running through this uh particular book relate to the uh consequences of actions taken and how speculation can lead to poor decision and we see how words can be twisted to forge reality to one's own making both politically and personally and, and there's much more the, the the prose goes so deep into imagery and gives us this tactile vivid immersion into the lives and settings of the characters I, i'm fascinated by this book because it feels like such a launching pad to an even bigger story and to a more grand epic scope um and I truly hope that it is. I'm so much looking forward to the next book here. Um, you know, in here, you're going to find your political machinations that really rival any other story. You'll find magic that exceeds your sense of wonder. And you'll find characterization that fulfills familiarity, yet hammers home at unique qualities and motivations and raises trepidation for their fate. <laughs> uh so this book really feels like it's like the linchpin of the series. The one that informs us informs us of the standings and tells us, get ready, the best is yet to come. So uh, if you haven't yet started this series, do so. Don't worry about the length of it. Enjoy the ride. 
Um, if you uh, are already reading along, great. Um, you can join us for a, um, that we should be doing a video that should be out sometime next week, a full spoiler discussion of the end of this book, the last five chapters. And I, uh, I'm looking forward to that. So stay tuned for that, um, on the future prints here, uh, with my friends from page And, um, with that in mind, be good to each other. Thank you.